it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the video and welcome to Melee Park created by Ramones W. Now, I'm extremely excited to have a special guest with me today. There are some that say he's just set the world record for the longest play duration of Planet Coaster at four days solid. I have Tommy P. Say hello, Tommy. Hi, guys. You okay? How are you doing, Tommy? You all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing very well. Do you realise it's been seven months since we did a joint spotlight together? Uh, I knew it had been a while. I'm not sure about that long, but yeah, well, probably is about seven months. That's <laughs> crazy. Absolutely mental. But I'm proper excited to get into this park because this is a PlayStation 4 park, but super detailed. So let's just hop in and have a look, shall we? And here we are at the park entrance. Now, one thing that really jumped out to me straight away, Tommy, when I opened up this park, are you used to seeing road layouts and car parks for PS4 parks? Not really for PS4. I mean, it's obviously a useless thing for in-game, but to manage to get a park that's of this quality and a road system and a bit of a car park is good going to be fair yeah i mean i mean both myself and you are we are big fans of out outside of the park stuff aren't we um Definitely. like kind of obviously interior of the park is important but i get a lot of my enjoyment from building the outside of parks and i've seen your new park which i know obviously a lot of people won't have done at the moment but i've seen what your new park is and i think it's safe to say that you enjoy the outside of the park a lot as well don't you Absolutely, I love building stuff that isn't theme park related. Uh, I know it's a bit silly because it's a theme park kind of game. But... Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Blasphemy, Tommy. We don't need that kind of negativity in here. <laughs> <laughs> theme park, don't be silly. Honestly. Yeah, I, I love stuff like this. And I, I do believe that this is certainly of this quality, at least, the most and exterior stuff I've seen done on a PS4 yet yeah, and definitely. and did you realize this is um actual path as well this is not paint tool um I didn't now realize I, that yeah i flicked through because i thought because it was so straight because it's so straight i thought is that a path or is that paint tool and it's not it's actual pathing because he hasn't got any tarmac paint ah rookie mistake that choosing the wrong paint at the start yeah but, but he must have done it on a grid that must yeah. be on a grid to have managed that in a ps4 limit it's, it's got to be on a grid because there's no way it would have been able to do all of this off grid and then still be able to do the park as well but i mean regardless however which way he's done it it is super impressive and yeah big thumbs up from me and a big resounding thumbs up from tommy as well by the sounds of it definitely definitely i mean i could spend 10 minutes just on the outside of this park just admiring it to be honest i love all this i love like the shots like this that you get like you've got a car park here and you can just see the interior of the park and you've just got that little tease of the coaster that's going past there i mean that is awesome and it's again it's so realistic that's what you get at like thought park and olden towers isn't it you get them little teases of the rides from the car park before you walk in i think you know a lot the a lot of the hardest thing is to get these kind of sight lines from outside the park where this park is very different to what i'm currently working on because yeah. i've i've got the tops of coasters just peeking over and that's my tease where this apart from that coaster we've just seen it doesn't look like you're about to enter a theme park because there's no tops of coasters or like ferris wheels which i like which is quite a nice yeah change to what i've been doing anyways it feels almost like a um french riviera like a villa or something or like kind of a spanish mm. villa or something like that like a holiday destination just like maybe Hol just one of them yeah. little cheap areas that you, not cheap areas that was the wrong word i'm sorry um <laughs> more like kind of the like cheaper parks is what i meant I've just offended yeah. literally everybody in Europe. I'm so mm. sorry. I didn't mean a it, cheap area. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, even a zoo, it feels... It's got that zoo kind of feel. Yes. 
Yeah, I can see that. Oh, hang on, you can see a ride over there as well. Look. Oh yeah. Just, just cheeky little uh, chair plane just over there. But yeah, I'm in full agreement. And have you seen the fact that he's used all the paint tool as well? Used the leaves around the trees and the rocks and everything. You don't see it very often. And again, Tommy, you know full well how much I badger on about paint tool and what a difference it can make in a park. And to actually see it used so well in here, yeah, I love that. But, can uh, just while we're here, yeah, just that fence to your left hand side. Yes. Is that a custom fence? Oh my days, it is as well. It's just the little details like Good you know, spot. A lot of people might not notice it, but to like obviously I've just noticed it, but just those tiny details make such a big difference to people who really focus on the outside areas or the realism aspect of the game which i i enjoy the realism yeah of it, so yeah great, i mean great imagine i mean look what ramones has done here on a ps4 imagine what he would do on a ps5 that like obviously 4, the detail that he's going into and the custom fencing and one thing that i should mention as well so this is obviously melee uh, melee park it's actually named after his son which I think is beautiful. I think that's really nice to actually name your first park. And yes, this is his first creation, his first park in Planet Coaster. And this is the quality he's done. But he's named it after his son. And I think that's lovely. I think that's really nice. Yeah, no, it's a nice, nice touch as well. I mean, what a first park as well. I mean, I'm saying that. We haven't even got into the park yet. A lot of people are like, what are you talking about, Matt? You haven't even got into the park. You're still on the outside. But you get you get my meaning, though, don't you? Like, kind of, you can already tell just from the exterior of the park and things that we've seen so far, the quality that this is going to be. I mean, we've got all the um, custom... Like, we've got wooden beams just going across them windows there, look. Again, it's just them um, little tiny details. That's a couple of different roofs there, look. Yeah, just the trim for that kind of Spanish roof and then yeah. the thatch roof and then the beams just to make it a bit more custom, yeah. And we've got Again. the differing colour walls as well, just to break up them shop lines as well. I really like that as well. We've got all, all the beams coming across here. It's just that extra touch of detail which, you know, really does pay off. It makes a building custom to that person who's built it. It's just, yeah. I can't believe this is PlayStation 4, if I'm being honest, Tommy. Um, the, just how much custom there is, to be honest. I mean, look straight in front of us instantly. We've got a custom wall in front of us there as well. Going around the water feature. I mean, Roof everything in this park. pieces on the path. Yeah. yeah. And not only has he just done the roof pieces on the path, but he's also put the line there, breaking it up as well. Yeah, and even taking the time to put those tree planter uh, guard things on, I know it's a small thing, but it makes a huge difference. It, it does. It really does. And when you actually... Uh, it's very easy to walk past them and not notice them, but when you actually realise that they are there and stop and take a breath, it's like, wow, like, really? And just the little things like this, imagine how much time it would have taken. Like, this custom wall... Yeah. As well, I mean, how many pieces is this custom wall here? So, 13 pieces per section. Just for that wall. Crazy detail. And then, obviously, that then would come all the way across. Well, we've got all the lights. Oh, we've got this water feature. <laughs> I'm happy. Right, let's hide that hood again. Yeah, really, really top quality work there. Mamone's really great job. So we'll go this way. We've got the uh, carousel there. I'm not sure where the, I'm not sure where the entrance is for it. Did we walk past it already? Yeah, where it's we... just. Oh right, okay. House. So right, and we've got that's a two meter queue line as well, isn't it? It is. And the two meter queue lines are a killer as well. So the fact that he's done two meter queue lines and still been able to do all this as well, once again, just so impressive. We'll have to have a look what the uh, piece count for this park is at the end. You'll have to uh, remind me on. I'll try. <laughs> yeah. So we've got the chair plane just here as well. Really nice integration with these flat rides as well. They don't just seem 
chucked down wherever. They seem placed down with a purpose. If that makes sense. Yeah, caref carefully placed, and you know, he's even put the the height thing outside each of the entrances of the rides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just you know, hidden those bollards with pillars and. Just makes such a difference, and the custom queue line as well with the fencing and the hedges. Just beautiful work. Is this a backstage area? Yeah, we've got. See, we've, not only have we got the car park, but we have backstage areas as well. Yeah, and it's you know it's kitted out with just enough, so less is more kind of feel to it, where it's it's tidy, but still a kind of yard area where they do dump stuff and pallets and stuff and a generator and stuff yeah even the gates look have the hinges on them yeah <laughs> this is crazy this is the type of stuff i expect to see from near chacho or or planet plip uh planet plip cam moving little socks the people who go in with their all realism i said planet plip cam i was trying to say the pc players um, obviously, Planet <laughs> Plipcam is not a PC player, but this is kind of the things that you expect to see on the PC builds um, when they've got the luxury of hundreds of thousands of pieces and they can really go to town with their custom things. I'm not used to seeing so much custom stuff in a park. Not Certainly not to this extent, I would say, and certainly not on a last-gen console, I would say. Yeah, no, it's really, really nice to see. And, you know, if they did get the next gen, I would love to see what they can do with that extra percentage. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So we've got a queue line here. I love, I just love the architecture, you know, Tommy. Yeah. I, I know you're a big fan of architecture as well. It's something that's always stood out to me in your parks is your architectural work. So I know, like, obviously you appreciate some good architecture in a park as well. Oh, it's a car ride. I, I was not expecting a car, a car ride. I did not know this was here. Okay. Shall we just follow it around and just have a talk as we go around? So we can have a look around. Go for it. Yeah, I know you like your architecture, Gus. Uh, what you do. Oh, look at this. I love this. Even got the electric wire going across as well. It's just the attention to detail. It's just, you know... Great to see. <laughs> if this is a quick car ride, it might overtake us in a minute because we're going to keep stopping and looking. Have we got one chasing us? Oh, we have as well. <laughs> We've got a little water feature just down here as well. Of course, I love that. Just these little tiny subtle elevation changes as well. Even with the smoke, just creating that ambience around here as well. This is just the like, superb. Sorry, go on. No, it's just, you know, like you're going through a little village country road kind of thing with these little, you know, garages and houses. You know, it doesn't, it, obviously a lot of this is just trees, but I feel like that's all it kind of needs. I mean, a bit yeah. of face full of bush there, but. <laughs> <laughs> No words. I'm not responding to that, Tommy. <laughs> we got just a little hut here, look as well. Love yeah. that. Up, oh, Dave. And Dave just watching the cars go past. I love that. Oh, whack. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Dave. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Dave. What are you doing, Dave? You follow. You appear to have fell over, mate. Um, we've got a waterfall here. I mean, even just like kind of this little water feature, it's got like with the dead uh, tree just kind of like coming through and just a little tiny bits of um, bushes built in there with the rocks and everything just to make it look that more realistic. Just everything about it just works. Yeah, it's really nice. And he's even used like the murky water, which gives this quite a nice effect like i don't yeah. tend to use it myself as much but i might have to start using it i think that. i've used it once i've used it once in my new park that i'm doing at the moment and that was because it was supposed to be like kind of this little marshy area behind the houses and um, but i think that's mm. the first time i've used it to be honest so we've, got, we've even got a custom bridge as well look just going over the water there i mean honestly i i cannot tip my hat enough 
for this park i'm just absolutely blown away by it i think it's fantastic and we haven't even really got into the the meat of the park yet the, the brunt of it and it's already like such a high quality i'm super impressed mm -hmm. oh dear she's broken down got the aa here <laughs> and we carry on working another bridge again another waterfall this is my favorite car ride ever just because of the waterfalls and then we come past these buildings I mean, he's even joined these buildings up at different angles, slightly different depths, which isn't the most easiest thing to do, but, no. you know, he's nailed it. Yeah, absolutely smashed it. Yeah, I love absolutely that. smashed it. Yeah, I can't give that any more praise, to be honest, and I think we I think we both made abundantly clear what we thought of that, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Love this little area here, like, like this open courtyard kind of thing would it be a courtyard or a villa or i'm not sure what you would actually call this it's like if that's the mansion at the back it's like yeah like the courtyard or the the kind of entry i don't know if it's the back or the front but yeah some kind of courtyard and the design he's done it's simple but you know to get those curved lines and the brickwork just yeah really nice change from just you know concrete or whatever yeah, it makes such a difference. I, I just want to look at everything, Tommy. That's the problem. I'm literally wanting to look at everything. Now, I believe there's a dark ride just over there. So we'll get over to that in a second. I just want to... I literally want to look at everything. Where are these people coming from? Why are they coming out? Is that that? Right? There's a toilet in there. So, of course, there's hidden toilets. I mean, there's even this little backstage here. Where does this go? Little custom stepway, uh, uh, walkway just coming down here. And we've just got this little jetty coming to the boats. This, this is nice. And he's even got planks that are missing as well, look. Yeah. You've got a proper step over it. Just as we go back up these stairs, and um, once you finish down here, the building, I've just yep. noticed something he's done with the brickwork, which isn't a lot, but makes such a massive difference about that? this bit here. Yeah. I don't believe I've ever seen anyone do that. No, I haven't. That's, that's a new one for me. We are totally both stealing that, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are 100% stealing that. Sorry, Ramones, that, that is being stolen. Great idea. Oh, the only problem is you can tell that you copied and pasted it. Because it's coming through <laughs> some of the windows. Ah, we know the secret now. We've seen the fact that you cheated with it. And there's all an interior here as well, look. With the shops. And you can just come through the back there to just have a sit down. And just have a look over the park. And it's a beautiful sight line here as well. You see it how much is. is going on. Despite the fact this is such a small park as well. It's, it's not a big park, but... Right anyway so we'll carry on around here and we'll come through to the dark ride oh i like this nice cream van yeah he's even put um the window balconies just jutting out to make it look like where you'd uh, put like any of your sauces and your dips or like kind of cutlery or napkins or whatever that's ace mm use the boxes to hide the bottom of the it's it's weird that seeing this because i've literally probably in the last three hours just built an ice cream i haven't done a van i've done a trailer okay but, um, kind of the same idea um but yeah no this is nice see the only one i've seen really of this kind of style was insomniacs and yeah i'm, I'm gonna have to say i'm afraid i actually think this one is is better um, I think Insomniacs were really, really good, but I think that is absolutely superb. I love that. Never seen anyone build yeah. anyone anything like that on consoles. So, yeah, again, great job. Just like everything else in this park, just such a high quality. And nothing in there. Got Even got the, like, the ventilation just on the side there. You got the decoration, oh, yeah. like kind of with the window planters on as well. Like beams everywhere, trimming everywhere. Honestly, it's just absolutely mental. And then this building, this mansion, 
is just stunning. Yeah, it's very Disney kind of feel. Like it's supposed to be a mansion, but scaled down kind of, mm. but still feels like a mansion. I think that says who's sweet, sweet Pandora. Is that a T? I have no idea. We'll, it... we'll have a look when we get on the ride. I'm sure it'll say when we're on there. This appears to be. Is it the queue and the exit? Uh, Maybe. I'm not sure. Not sure. We'll have a look in a minute. Right. Come down here. I mean, oh, what's all, Paul? Even all up here is decorated. That didn't need to be decorated. No. Surely up there did not need to be decorated, but you've still done it. Uh, and then we'll come through here. Oh, right. Okay, we've got one of these. Now, you've got to assume that this a dark ride, surely. So what we'll do is we'll swap that very quickly to the night. And let's have a hop on. That is the wrong thing, Matty. Let's pause it because I don't want to obviously spoil anything. So let's try and get one at the start. Seat one. There we go. We'll go with that. And we'll have a talk as we go around. Right. Oh, it's, so it's one of the shooting right. ones. You don't really see these shooting ones very often, do you? No. Oh, it's nicely done, to be fair. Really nicely done. It's it's quite a surprise, actually. I wasn't expecting anything like this in the park because it was so vibrant and like almost family friendly and beautiful and picturesque outside so to come into this was quite surprising it's it's just a bit different mm. but done to a really nice quality and just simple and effective yeah triggers and you know it's got that eerie feel but still quite light-hearted it it's a bit like Jewel that you find at Alton Towers. It's yeah. not exactly scary, but, you know, it's quite, you know, there's a lot going on. I like how he put the hippo's head on a wall then, <laughs> as if it was like... <laughs> like, a, um, like a trophy or something. Yeah, yeah. All the sound effects as well. Now, apologies, maybe that the audio quality of the ride itself will not come through in the video very much. Unfortunately, that's one of the caveats of when we do the joint spotlights, as the sound for the rides don't always come through now on coasters, I record them separately. But because we're specifically talking through this one, I, I'm aware that the sound of the actual ride itself won't come through on the video. So apologies for that, everybody. But yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing ride. Absolutely brilliant. Really nicely done. I think it's simple and effective in the best possible way to be honest mm. it's not overdone but no it couldn't be it couldn't be overdone because once again it's a ps4 park that's what i'm struggling with most here tommy is is that is the fact that it's ps4 where the heck is the exit oh they come out here okay where does this come out then yeah, I'm really struggling to wrap my head around that fact that it's PlayStation 4 Park. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was that door I was... Oh, right, so I looked in this door, but I didn't look in that door. I should have probably looked in there. I would have been like... Oh, no, I still probably wouldn't have realised, actually, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, let's just very quickly pop that back to day again. Because we'll have a look at the park as an overview at night. So we have got coasters in here, Tommy, to go on. There are two coasters to go on, so we'll get round to them. Did we have a look in there? Mm. No. Doesn't, doesn't That doesn't appear to be anything. No. Okie dokie. See, I, get, I just love this wall. 
just yeah the architecture the curves there's like a to your left a kind of round bit to the dark ride made out of planks yeah well you mean this bit here you mean yeah yeah it's nuts absolutely nuts also got a street fox coffee so like a van the same as well and then you've got this little tiny seating area just around here and this is nice this is a you know just something you'd find like just picturesque in it you can just imagine yeah. just sat here but just with all the flags on the top as well just adds yeah. to it and then obviously you could chuck your kids on the uh, whirly rig as well just while mum and dad yeah. have a sit down mum and dad will grab a coffee sit on have a sit down here while the kids go on the whirly rig and, and they can still see mum and dad i'm thinking about this way too much <laughs> i like to get in the zone all right i like to put myself in the park <laughs> I'm like, where can I get rid of the kids <laughs> and have a sit down? <laughs> that, that's where my mind's at. Oh, wow. This almost looks like a Tunisia or something now. Yeah. It's like you've come into a completely different area, haven't you? Kind of, yeah. You know, like, would it be yeah. Tunisia, Morocco, or would it be something like that? I'd say, yeah, Tunisia. I mean, that is stunning. Do you know what kind of building architecture that reminds me of? It's something that um, Colin Best Lots of Numbers would do. Um, uh, yeah. Because I, I always kind of like think Colin Best is very good at the uh, buildings such as this. His water park like, kind of jumps out at me, like kind of um, was the very yeah. Tunisian kind of like theme. Um, yeah. and, and this kind of like makes me think of that, to be honest. That kind of a similarish kind of build style. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, that is such a high quality. I can imagine running around as Ezio de Aldatori, just running around jumping on it, um, <laughs> like climbing up to the very top of here, and then just looking for a haystack and jumping off. Is there a haystack I can jump into so I can be Ezio? Um, hashtag missed opportunity. But yeah. I, th I th honestly I can't praise that enough. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and I'm guessing there's something inside cup because it's got a big back building. I think that's where one of the coasters is. So there's a block of toilets in there. See, all the toilets and all the exits for queues are all blocked off as well. Yeah. You don't even realise a lot of it is there. And even the floor as well, look, he's put that star on the floor with like the roof tiles and, yeah, and then the broken yeah. up here with is that a um trim he's got trim Cherub, all over. is it trim yeah nice touch God, I again playstation 4 how how has he done this this is this is incredible i've seen a lot of playstation yeah. 5 parks that go and don't go into this kind of detail and they are like kind of using the glitch as well 120 odd percent and they haven't gone into this level of detail so yeah i don't know how he's done this now i believe there was a queue line over here there we go i think this is a coaster think oh my god checking the tickets checking the heights oh watch your head so unrealistic this park so unrealistic banging your heads health and safety <laughs> right and then come Around here. Like, do you think this is supposed to be a dark ride as well? Um, yeah, most probably. I don't know if he's done a time lapse track thing, but we'll soon find out. Right. Well, what we and Tommy are going to do is we'll go for a quick ride and then I'll make sure that I put the right one in the video. So, let's have a quick look at the stats just before we go. Not that it makes any difference. Tommy, what does that say? Uh, Zaga Al Yama, Yama, 
We'll go with it. We'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with it. It'll do. It's fine. I think that was a good attempt. Uh, green across the board. The G-forces are quite high. 6.93. But I kind of got the feeling that that's not really going to matter. If I'm, if I'm going to be honest. No. I think this is going to be one of them experience type coasters. So, without further ado, let's go for a ride. Enjoy, everybody. So, there we go with the ride with a name that I cannot say. So, Tommy, what were your thoughts? You know, definitely a dark ride experience. Um, a little bit of smoothing, if I'm going to be honest, on the coaster. But, you know, overall, it's more for the, the atmosphere and the, the ride itself. So, you know, really good job. Unfortunately, you can't get a room pitch black, which probably would have made that a bit better. Um, in the sense of hiding the track in front of you, seeing where you go in. But overall, good coaster, and the building it sits in is just awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to have to break the immersion. I'm sorry. I've got to do it. Um, more so, so I can give feedback for the sense of what I want to say. Now, as Tommy said, yeah, it, it probably did require a little bit of smoothing. When we say head chopper moments, it's literally head chopper, you're going to die. I mean, there, there are literal moments of that ride that is going to kill you because they, they chop the heads off. But I, the fact that a ride of that size is in an area that small, it's got to be commended. That is absolute insanity how you've managed to get a ride of that duration in that one little tiny area. I think that is really impressive. So, yeah, great job. With the layout's that. brilliant. Yeah, it's very much like Space Mountain. Yeah. Just about to say that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, absolutely love that. Brilliant. Honestly, Tommy, I could just spend 10 minutes just looking at this building, you know. <laughs> just appreciate Just the it. layers. The layers of the ground as well coming upstairs, but the building still sits on that one kind of layer. Oh, look at that. It's just really nice. Never seen anyone use them on the side of a building as decoration yeah. for a building before. It works. It just works. Everything works. The green works. Yeah. It, it is, it's, it's all the differing colours as well, isn't it? There's so many differing colours on there. You've got the lime green on there. And then you've got the um, more like kind of the turquoise on that bit there. And then you've got reds and the cream, and little bits yeah. of blue splashed in. You, you've even got like kind of a custom canopy with beams coming across yeah. as well. I mean, what what is that piece here that is used for that? Drapes. So drapes just with beams holding them up. I mean, I just can't praise that enough. I mean, this is such a high quality and caliber park it, it really is you've got the beach section just here let's carry on walking down and stop uh, gushing over this park it's easy to do <laughs> it's easy to gush over this park this is right yeah. up both of our alleys to be honest isn't it yeah definitely so and we have can can airfield so mexican i'm guessing if it's being cancun it's even like the little airport, like a little runway. Yeah, Maynard's in the background. Temple, the Maynard Temple. Right, there you mean, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
just with the side. And again, just with all the don't die fencing as well. Like, just thinking of that safety mm. coming around here. Just blocking it off, really kind of like separating the two areas. That is very much its own part of a ride here. That is, well, looks, yeah, Cascade by the looks of it. So this is very much the Cascade area. And then it's sectioned off. This is very much the flat ride area. There's, there's, there's no mixing it up at all. And just thinking of that safety and that realism. Honest, again, can't praise it enough. It's got a little uh, terminal up here. What's that called, Tommy? Would that be a... Your... Watchtower. Watchtower, there you go. So you worked at an airport, you should know that. So, <laughs> all right, and we'll come out of here. We've got the uh, custom kind of piece over here, and let's come around here. I think, Tommy, we're coming up to the end already. Which I'm actually. You think? So have we gone? No, no, no. Go on. <laughs> I, d I, d I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. I just said, do you think? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. I, I'm actually quite disappointed. I don't want to get to the end because sometimes you do spotlights and you just enjoy them that much. You don't want them to end. And uh, Tommy didn't put his phone on mute. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am the most professional YouTuber there is. <laughs> How dare you? I'd never make mistakes at all. <laughs> so we have uh, Yucatan. Would that be y Yucatan? Yucatan? Yucatan. Yeah. Is that the um, letters that Mavs did? I believe they might be, aren't they? Mavs fans' um, letters. I th they look like it. Like the most Mavs used is... letters on the yeah, workshop. Potentially. Right. That's going to be the cascade. I want to save the cascade till the end. We'll have a quick look at this truck, which is probably the best one. Of the lot, actually, to be honest. So, Max Yeah, Lantern. I've done something similar in one of my parks, but yeah, no, it's nicely done. It's not the easiest thing to do sometimes. No, I can imagine that would not be easy, if I'm honest. And we will go on the Cascade, but we'll go on it at the end. Oh, there's another coaster here. Okay, let's go on the Cascade, because there's another coaster there. So, we'll go on that one last. So, let's have a walk up the queue path. So much to see. So much foliage everywhere. Really nice queue line. Really interactive. I like how he's merged his entrances and exits. You know. Yeah. It makes it a I little bit that. difficult if it was a busy day. Not mm. going to lie. But, so, hang on. You're going that way. So what's this way? Must be the exit. Surely. No, because the other people were coming for this. Or is this a priority pass? I have no idea. <laughs> that was the exit. So why were people walking back the other way then? That didn't make sense. They weren't coming from this way, were they? I thought they literally walked from this way. But whatever. Anyway. <laughs> there's the priority pass. We're just going to knock the heads off again. He's <laughs> determined to kill his guests, isn't he? <laughs> Let's come around here. I tell you what, he's proper challenging my camera skills here. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, happy hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is nice. That is crazy. Why are they just sat there? What is going on? Okay. I think there may be a problem with this. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the stats. We'll sort that off camera. Because we're nice like that. So let's have a look at the stats. Almost green across the board, but not quite. Again, them G-forces are slightly high. But let's go for a ride. Enjoy, everybody.
So, there we go. Now, I'm not going to lie. We had to actually just go for a ride of that twice, didn't we, Tommy, then? Um, we before we gave feedback. And unfortunately for me, this is probably going to be the only negatives of the park. The ride was just too fast. The reason we had to ride it twice is because the first time we went on, I was convinced I'd go it on speed up time. And it wasn't. It was just the genuine speed. I think the whole ride needs slowing down. You can just see it just going up the back there and just how fast it was. I think the whole ride needs slowing down. The first chain lift needed slowing down. It didn't need to go at max speed, which is why the airtime hills, I believe them airtime hills, were most likely causing a lot of them G-forces. And then just as you watch it come down there, it just comes through like an absolute bat out of hell. Um, so, yeah, really nice ride design. Very well designed. Very well executed. It just needs slowing down, is all. Uh, Tommy, what are your thoughts now? I've uh, unfortunately ripped that part of ride. <laughs> ripped apart I mean, that ride, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, the setting for it is beautiful. You know, the design of everything around it coming down that kind of temple and it's set on the island with the queue path but um like you said just a bit too fast i think slow down that chain smooth out those uh, bunny hills after it and then you know slow down the second chain so it you know hits this water and loses a lot of momentum but mm -hmm. there's some amazing beautiful elements where you're sitting in that lily pad pond around the back oh of the ride. that was beautiful yes this bit around yeah. uh this bit just around here yeah this yeah. was stunning i mean it, yeah. it's funny because that's the best part of the ride and that was the slowest part of the ride the bit where you can take in the tranquility of it yeah i, I think cascades you almost need cascades to have that mixture because cascades aren't the white knuckle ride you need them little tiny fast bits but they don't need to be quick but then you also need the bits of tranquility and calm as well and that was more like a white knuckle coaster with then a little tiny bit of tranquility at the end it just needed like a little bit more like leveling out kind of thing yeah so i agree but Anyway, there is the Cascade. I'm, I'm sorry to say I'm glad that we didn't leave that one till last now, actually. Um, because I wouldn't have wanted to end the spotlight on a negative, especially with how positive the rest of the spotlight has currently been. I'm now praying that I like this, this ride. I'm coming up the exit. <laughs> I'm that nervous now. I'm going up the exit. Please be good. I really hope I love this ride. Um, so, I love the queue line again. Yeah. Superb queue line. Really long queue line as well. And it goes right next to the car park as well, look. Yeah. The guests seem to love this ride. They do. I bet it's a kiddie ride, isn't it? It's one of the dragon rides, isn't it? The it's guests that dragon love, one, yeah. Guests love the dragon rides. <laughs> Just looking at it from the off board, it, it looks a little extreme for a kid's ride. But, but <laughs> we'll have a look. We'll have a look and then we'll see afterwards. So let's have a look at the stats. It's green across the board, which is very unusual for a kiddie ride to get that green across the board. But the G-forces are okay. There's only a max speed of 32. So final ride of the park. Let's do it. Enjoy, everybody. So, there we go. Tommy, what were your thoughts? 
you know, really nice layout. You know, it's this layout that you would find these kind of coasters. I just, again, with the smoothing, I think just there were a little bit of sharp kind of bends and a bit jolty in places. But other than that, you know, coasters aren't for everyone and they're not the easiest of things to build. But, you know, you, you, you're 90% of the way there. Just go over and, you know, smooth these bits and you know i think you'll get there but yeah great great design of coaster amazing scenery around the coaster as well yeah um i'm i'm in full agreement with you on on this one i think tommy i love the fact that it comes over the water feature straight away of course i'm gonna love that i love all the scenery around it and i'm gonna say straight off the bat coaster building is not one of my strong suits it, it never has been i'm not the best at coasters at all i like my realism i like my little things that guests don't use i like my exteriors of the park but coasters are not my forte so i'm going to put my hands up and and say that straight away and i'm going to unfortunately say the same i think with you as well ramones i think the coasters in this park do require quite a lot of work they're extremely janky but the park on a whole is one of the best parks that i've spotlighted for its realism and its design i've been blown away i i don't think it's any secret and i think the way that i've spoken about it and enthused about it and gushed over this park i think it's been evident in my voice how much i've enjoyed this park but the coasters have brought it down for me i'm afraid and I, that is something certainly for your next park i would like to see addressed as more smoothing in your coaster aspects right now i feel horrible let's carry on shall we oh no point in doing these spotlights if i'm not always honest so even if i don't like doing it sometimes right so we've got all the food and drink down here and i think tommy i think this is the end we've just got this one little flat ride just here and then we come back to the main entrance. That's it. Right. Before we do anything, what was the piece count of this park? What, what do you reckon? Before I do it, place your bets. 42,381. 42,000? 42, yeah. 42? You do realise... Okay. You, you do realise that... Your park was only about 50,000, the one that you did with TJ Puffs. And my, Eden Gardens was only 32. Okay, my guess is going to be about 21,000. So. 45,000. You're a madman. <laughs> that would have been the most I've seen in any park yet. No, it wouldn't. I, I believe. Um, was it Avery Forest? The um, web gaming and M and J games did. I think that was about fifty thousand. What did I say? Twenty four thousand. Boom. Okay, I was way off. <laughs> yeah. But even twenty four thousand on a PS four is super impressive. With five coasters as well, five flat rides, five coasters. I think that is absolutely fantastic now let's just very quickly have a look at this park at night i mean even the lighting is beautiful as well look it's not even like forgotten about the lighting because there's so many pieces it's easy to think it's a ps4 park it's so much detail he hasn't done any lighting it doesn't don't need to worry about that but he's still done it yeah and it's it's just the right amount as well it's not overly done but it's not un underly done as well you know and flashing light there as well just a light on a trigger yeah um just lots of nice differing colors all accenting each other as well and really complementing each other like kind of the pink with the yellow and orange just over there and then we've got yeah. down this main street is like predominantly like kind of yellow but then you've got the mansion which is kind of like got a little bit of pink on it and then the courtyard with a green underneath the fountain yeah just, it's just really well done really well done yeah fantastic so tommy three word park review 
Uh, I knew this was coming as well. And you forgot, didn't you? Atten attention to detail. Very nice. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, I'm going to say incredible with limits. Well, incredible within limits. Because obviously, the, clearly, the, the limits of the PS4 and the past-gen console. I, I'm going to say this is one of, I'm not going to say best, because we've seen some incredible... Oh, oh, hang on, what am I doing? <laughs> what was I doing then? <laughs> um, I've seen some incredible PS4 parks. Um, when you think of like, kind of some of the ones that NH99 had done, um on the past gen he'd done like planko frontier land on a ps4 and things like that but certainly i would say this is one of my favorite ps4 parks that i've seen yeah, I and i would love to see a ps5 park that he does the only thing i would say is i would like to see a little bit more work on your coasters just go through smooth them um, if you're maybe unfamiliar with how to do it, then there are some incredible tutorials out there. Uh, M&J Games did an incredible tutorial on how to smooth coasters. So I'd recommend maybe going and watching that. But yeah, great park. And thank you, Tommy, for joining me. It's been an absolute blast, mate. I've really enjoyed having you here. Thank you for having me. It's been a enjoyable park. I'm glad that we could uh, look through it and experience it together. Yeah, same mate, same. And I look forward to your park as well, which hopefully will be finished soon. And I'm looking forward to spotlighting that and showing that off to the world. I think people are going to be quite surprised, to say the least. <laughs> For more yeah, than one well, reason. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> right. Anyway, thank you ever so much, everybody. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you haven't already, make sure and leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I'm just on my way to 1,000 subscribers at the time of recording. If I've already hit 1,000 by the time this video is released, then thank you ever so much. If not, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Help me out. But take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you soon for more Planet Coaster content. Goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye, Tommy. Bye, guys.